Hello, I'm Atu Jibber and you're watching on Real TV's Prime Details. The Bharatiya Janata Party, Nagaland State, has welcomed the continuation of the PJP and the PP alliance for the upcoming 2023 General Assembly election in the state of Nagaland. The party also reaffirmed its commitment to uphold the joint declaration of both the parties with all sincerity. In a statement, State PJP President and Minister Temjan Imna Along stated that the continuation of the seed sharing formula NDPP 40, PJP 20 is a welcome decision for which the party is grateful to central leaders led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In Home Minister Amit Shah, National President PJP Jagat Prakash Nada, and National General Secretary Organization BL Santosh. The PJP said the continuation of the alliance and the seed sharing formula is reflective of the alliance's tireless endeavor to provide good governance to the people of Nagaland. While there is yet much more work to be done, we are encouraged by the visionary leadership of Chief Minister Nipurio and Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, for which the central leadership have once again reposed their fate upon our state leaders, it stated. The party reassured that it will continue to work tirelessly to strengthen the alliance so that the visionary programs and policies of the government of India percolates down to each and every citizen in every nook and corner of the state. The party further expressed gratitude to Chief Minister of Assam, Himanta Biswasarma, Nagaland, in charge Nalin Kohli and central leaders for reaffirming the pre-poll alliance to jointly contest the forthcoming state assembly elections. Members of a group called the Global Naga Forum have issued a statement seeking to clarify what it stated was misconceptions about an event called Naga Solidarity Walk scheduled for July 28 and the 29th. According to the statement received here from the organization on July 27, Wednesday, members of the forum consist of like-minded people from all walks of life and from different parts of the world who came together with the sole purpose and vision of telling the Naga story to the world and to facilitate the journey of the people in the struggle for human and indigenous rights. The GNF does not owe loyalty to any political party, nor is it a mouthpiece of any organization, it stated. The event, the walk, has been organized solely to break the artificial barriers separating Nagas and that the GNF has no ulterior motives. It does not wish to discredit any organization whatsoever, it stated. The forum has requested the prayers of individuals and churches for the success of the Naga Solidarity Walk. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangman dismissed allegations of political vendetta in the arrest of Partha Janata Party, said Vice President Bernard N. Mark, who is accused of running a prostitution racket. Marak has, was arrested in Uttar Pradesh on Tuesday. Sangma late Tuesday evening also denied Marak's allegations against him of issuing an order to gun down the arrested leader and said the action taken by the state police was based on evidence. Sangma maintained that he has not interfered in the police investigation following complaints received from members of society about the illegal activities at the private farmhouse of the accused of the different kind of activities that were going on in there. And there's no need to politicize this issue. So that, that, because that's the police, will have to answer that question. As I said, I have not been involved in um, the day-to-day -day monitoring or functioning of uh, or the inquiry into this case. But I would think that um, the police also felt that if they just go in, then they would be asked, how come you went in so early? So if they had gone in early without doing the homework, then they would be asked, why did you go in early? Now when they do their homework and go in, then people say, why did they go in so late? So I guess uh, uh, it could be read either way. So really, I don't want to comment on that. But I would understand and uh, from the way the police has operated in this and whatever little bit of input I got, is that uh, they wanted to ensure that everything, uh, you know, monitoring was done. They have been following this case for a long time. They have been monitoring different aspects. I don't want to share all those aspects because, as I said, it's not my uh, area to talk about that. I think the SP will share with you or the DG will share with you at the right time on how the monitoring was done, how the follow-ups were done, and come to the conclusion that that was the right time to move in. So that's a police matter. I am not um, in the right uh, position to, to talk about that, but I'm guessing that, that that would be the procedure and they would have to collect sufficient 
uh, evidence and intel uh, to be able to move uh, into it like that. But I think what is important to note is that it has been done and it is something that, uh, as I said from the, point, uh, from the beginning, that a lot of complaints have been coming in and based on all of these facts and evidences and <coughs> procedures and as per law, action has been taken. Is there sir, a sir, the government uh, since uh, BJP is defending the accused? I don't think there's any threat as such uh, to the government as such in this issue. That's not the point at all. I and as I said, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, be too, uh, you know, divert this issue. But really, there's no need to uh, politicize this issue. I think everybody uh, knows uh, that, and everybody who's seen the evidence and the facts knows that there is uh, a lot of evidence that is there. And hence, um, I urge everybody that this should not be politicized. Let the police uh, do their job. Sir, uh, we have seen BJP's press uh, statement. So is it that the relation between BJP and uh, NPP is going to be strained due to this? No, I don't think so. I think uh, BJP also will see that, that there is uh, merit in what has been done. And as I said, the police has done its homework uh, in detail after collecting a lot of intel. Uh, I'm sure that the leadership of the BJP also will see that and they will realize that what is, whatever is being done is being done as per law and as per evidence that was collected. As many as 73 persons have been arrested and five minors were rescued during the police raid, which led to busting a sex racket at the Rimpu Bagan. This came after a first information report was filed on February 28, where a minor was allegedly sexually assaulted at the said private farmhouse. A suspected case of monkeypox has been reported in Uttar Pradesh's Noida adjoining Delhi, health department officials said on Wednesday. According to them, the patient is a 47-year-old woman who approached the health department on Tuesday after which her samples were taken. The samples have been sent for a test to Lucknow and the patient is in home isolation at the moment. Monkeypox can be confirmed only after the test results are out, a local health official said. The travel history of the patient was yet to be confirmed. The samples have been sent for a test to Lucknow and the patient is in home isolation at the moment. Monkeypox can be confirmed only after the test results are out, a local health official said. The travel history of the patient was yet to be confirmed. Monkeypox is usually a self-limited disease with the symptoms lasting two to four weeks. It typically presents itself with fever, headache, rashes, sore throat, cough and swollen lymph nodes. India has so far recorded four cases of monkeypox, three in Kerala and one in Delhi. The Swaj Vidya Laya Purushkar 2021-22 state level felicitation program was conducted today at the Directorate of School Education with the Advisor for School Education and SCERT, Katie Sukhalu as the event's special guest. As a stand here, as one of the Addressing at the program, Sukalo suggested that the officers in the field should visit schools and both private and government schools and do regular checks on, on education and healthcare aspects. Stressing on the need for community support, Sukalo said where when there is the support of the community, the people can be assured the school's performance will improve. The commitment of the teachers is required, he said. We get a lot of applications for opening new schools, private schools. We get a lot of uh, uh, you know, proposals for upgrading the government primary school to any school, any school to high school, high school to high secondary schools. I think uh, we will be having our SLEC meeting soon, but I am going to propose this. Any school to be open, they should have sufficient land so that toilet facilities, your drinking water facilities, you know, the play areas for the children should be there. Otherwise, 
in a very congested colony, in a very congested corner, opening schools, I think, really does not serve the purpose. How will a child mindset develop? So these are guidelines both for private as well as government schools. We will take up this issue. We need to educate our society. So much good schemes are being initiated by the India government under the able leadership of our Prime Minister. Similarly, the state under the leadership of our Honourable Chief Minister, Sidney Pew. We are trying our best to stretch out to every nook and corner of the state. But this habit of ours, you know, the schemes that is being given, it is not just a scheme. We need to educate our community. Also, the Secretary for School Education, Lima Wapang Jamir, said the purpose of the SVP is to honor and award schools that have undertaken exemplary work in the field of water, sanitation and hygiene. SVP also provides a benchmark and roadmap for schools to make further improvements in the future. He said that the performance of the schools was evaluated on several indicators, drinking water, toilets and washing with soap, operation and maintenance and capacity building. COVID-19 preparedness and response. In an urgent meeting conveyed at Crescent Hotel on 27 July, the All Nagaland Trained Physical Education Unemployed Union expressed grievance over the concerned department for delaying the advertisement for physical education teachers for about four years, where some members have overaged and many on the verge of overaging. In a press statement, the union stated that it was disheartened to see the neglected physical education teachers who molds, prepares and encourages young sport persons from the grassroots level starting from their schooling while the state government is trying to promote an athlete in sports. The union stated that making an individual ready and giving opportunity to the athlete should be in balance but even though the state government gives more importance to sports comparing to recent years, there is less quality athletes, athletes which reflects the main reason of neglecting the individual in young age and physical teachers and coaches were given less importance in schools. Young athletes need proper training in all aspects of sports and only a qualified trainer can bring Optimum changes, Union added. The Union also encouraged the members to take and grab opportunities relating to sports where they can practice their professionalism rather than waiting for government to bring changes and getting out of touch. Union further appeals to all the trained unemployed physical education individuals to get enrolled in ANTPEW. The Union hopes with much anticipation that the state government will soon give justice to the Union's demand. Congress MP staging a protest at VJ Talk here over the alleged misuse of investigative agencies were detained by police on Wednesday with the party calling it a murder of democracy and claiming that the government wants an opposition mocked pirate. Leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha, Malik Arjun Karge, leader of Congress in the Lok Sabha, Adi Ranjan Chaudhary and a host of party MPs sat on a protest and raised slogans against the misuse of agencies such as the Enforcement Directorate and the suspension of opposition MPs from both houses of the parliament. They also raised issues of price rise and imposition of the goods and services tax on certain essential daily use items. The MPs marched from the parliament complex to Vijay Chowk lawns where they held a sit-in and raised slogans. <laughs> लोगों तक पहुंचाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं सरकार अगर हमारी आवाज नहीं सुन रही और दमनकारी नीतियां अपना रही है तो उसके विरुद्ध में हम लोगों ने गिरफ्तारी दी है वो कोई बात नहीं क्या कहते हैं सत्तर घंटे रखने उसमें क्या दिक्कत है हो गया अब 
हम गए आठ दिन से हम लगातार कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि जो जनता की आवाज है क्योंकि हम राज्यसभा और लोकसभा के सांसद हैं और यहाँ पे हमें भेजा जाता है कि लोगों के प्रश्न हम उठाएं जिस तरह से महंगाई बेतहाशा बढ़ती जा रही है और जिस तरह से लोगों को जीना मुश्किल हो गया है उसके ऊपर हम आवाज उठाना चाहते हैं जीएसटी के ऊपर हम आवाज उठाना चाह रहे हैं और हम जब लोगों की भाषा बताना चाह रहे हैं तो हमें आवाज नहीं उठाई जा रही उसके उसके खिलाफ एक्चुअली दिस इज पोलिस There is no discussion is allowed in the parliament. Those who are raising issues of price rise are being suspending. 23 M, 24 MPs are suspended. What is the reason raising price rise issue in the parliament? Now we are not allowing to agitate that. So we want to give a memorandum to the president of India. Yesterday they stopped. Today also they are stopping. This is they totally undemocratic, condemnable. We will fight it against. Minister of State for Home Nityanand Rai on Wednesday informed the Rajya Sabha that the government has taken a decision to fill up to 84,405 existing vacancies in Central Armed Police Forces by December 2023. Replying to a query of PJP MP Anil Agawal in writing, the minister further said that the examination for filling up 25,271 posts of constable general duty has already been conducted. As per data shared by the MOS, there are a total of 84,405 vacancies in the CAPFs that included Assam Rifles, 9,659 Border Security Force, Central Industrial Security Force, Central Reserve Police Forces, Indo-Tibetan Border Police and Sashtra Sima Bal at 11,402. Adding India as the sixth country to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization Plus would move New Delhi towards a defense security alignment with the United States, said American Congressman Ro Khanna. In an exclusive interview with ANI, Khanna said that NATO allies get quick approval on defense agreements and further said that the U.S. has the same agreement with Australia, Japan, New Zealand, Israel and South Korea. Time and again, flag the threat posed by China, something that you also underscored in the amendment. Do you think that the administration needs to carefully look into where India stands in support of Asian security, uh, you know, in the region, than its partnership with Russia? I do. I, I think you look at uh, India's, uh, the threats that they face at the border, uh, and you, the biggest guarantor of the, the security has been the United States. And a few years ago, the United States uh, assisted India with those border skirmishes. So the U.S.-India alliance, in my view, is not just in the United States' interest. It is in the security interests of, uh, of India and that uh, the United States will be a much more reliable and stronger partner uh, given some of the challenges on the border with China. Delhi police on Wednesday arrested five people, namely Maud Sahil, Wasim Maud, Yusuf Ashish Chola and Mayang Baba and recovered 14,053 bow repeated button activated knives which were illegally traded from China for selling online. A case has been registered under the Arms Act at Chitaranjan Park Police Station. The accused Maud Sahil disclosed that he registered himself on online shopping apps so as to sell these knives online through his company in the name of My Style. He further disclosed that Maud Yosef was working for him and transported the illegal knives from Sadar Bazaar to Malvia Nagar. Yusuf further revealed that he used to purchase the illegal knives from another accused, Ashish Chola, who used to place orders in China to the particular vendor and the payment was made by Mayank Babur. A class 12 student was found hanging at his residence near Karaikudi in Sivagankai, district of Tamil Nadu on Wednesday, following which the authorities have initiated a probe into the incident. The incident comes just a day after another class 12 student was found dead at her home in Virud Chalam in the Chutalur district. Tamil Nadu has reported five such incidents this month. 
Earlier, a 16-year-old girl reportedly died in a hostel premises of a private school in Kala Kurchi. The girl's parents suspected foul play, while police said she died by suicide. In another incident reported in the state, a class 12 girl reportedly committed suicide in Thiruvalur district in a hostel room attached to a government-aided school. Indian Information Technology Minister Ashwini Vaishnava in Delhi informed that 5G service will start by September to October in the country. The Indian Minister also informed that four rounds of the 5G auction have been completed. Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji had approved the 5G auction process and within a very record time, the Department of Telecom has completed the entire process for auctions. Uh, today morning the auction, actual auction started and by now four rounds have been completed. The uh, update for the day has been already uploaded on the website of Department of Telecom. Approximate revenue expected from this auction process is about a lakh and 45,000 crore. Uh, this is a record uh, revenue collection. The previous record was a lakh and 9,000 crores. So this is, uh, this is a very encouraging response. This much response for 5G clearly shows that the industry has turned, its, uh, turned from its uh, difficult times which were caused by lots and lots of litigations and other things. Now industry is getting converted into a sunrise industry. It, is, uh, it will now focus on investments, focus on creating more employment, providing better quality of service, making sure that our goal of taking digital India and telecom services to the last person in the society in the most difficult areas, that goal is achieved. In a very record time, we will allocate this spectrum. Our target was to complete the entire process before uh, 14th August. So, before 15th August, let's say. Start the service will be immediately after that, completing the process and starting the service will be immediately after that. When do you expect that, sir? Somewhere in uh, September, October, we should have, we should see the service. In the That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.